Rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> so let's get into it in case you missed it. A few days ago, Tisha Campbell Martin, aka Gina from Martin, blasted a clothing brand for basically putting her face on shirts without her permission and selling them. And on top of that, not giving her a cut. The audacity, right? What happened was a friend of hers was at the mall and was in the store and spotted the shirts and immediately let her know. So she took to social media to talk about it. She posted this TikTok on IG. Y'all want to hear some dumbass shit? Now, I, <laughs> I know y'all like when I do this, but no, this is really, really stupid. So my friend is in the mall. And he goes into the store that has all these shirts, all this gear, shorts, everything with my face plastered all over these shirts, right? And it, I talked to the man, it's not the manager's fault, it's not the store's fault, it's not the people that work there because they were really lovely and I actually had a conversation with them, it was really cool. Uh, but the manufacturer who are making these shirts, I think it was like Headgear Classics or something like that. My brother, I'm all for the come up, I truly, truly am. But you just can't put somebody's face on a shirt without their permission and they pocket everything, and they pocket everything. And then go into the store saying, don't you think this is honoring? Tisha Campbell, you're, you're telling the store that you want to sell it to honor me. Honor me with a check. Honor me with a check. With a check. Gina, get your coins. And captioned it, well, crying, laughing, chow. It's not about my image. Headgear Classics will also have to contend with photographers who took the photos and owns them as well as the companies that owns the Martin Show and House Party proper. You poor thing. Thanks, Berkeley, for the heads up. Love you, friend. Not season to assist, you big dummy. Oh, sounds like she about to sue them or something. That's tough. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I was expecting to see her personal face on it and not the Gina version of her. But I feel what she's saying. But man, oh man, a lot of people have stole the likeliness of the Martin show. But we're not here to blast nobody. But um, yeah, from what we see, they appear to have removed the Martin shirts from their site. But they definitely do this with them near every show. We saw Family Matters shirts. We saw French Prince shirts. And as a matter of fact, a lot of people do this. But if folks start following suit, it's gonna be a lot of clothing brands in trouble. Trouble, trouble. Fired? Damn, Gina. And if you're wondering the reason why I'm calling her Gina from Martin, cause that's literally who are on these shirts. Yep, that's right, that's right. Hold on, wait, we almost missed this. It's her birthday. So happy belated birthday. She was born October 13, 1968, and she just turned 53. Hey, she looks good for her age. Happy birthday, Tisha Campbell. What are y'all thinking? We want to know, so leave your thoughts below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing out. Bye.